If you are struggling with AI characters that look completely different in every single image, this video will solve that problem forever. I'm about to show you the exact system I use to create unlimited consistent characters that maintain the same face, style and appearance across hundreds of generations. Here is the thing. Most people are doing character consistency completely wrong. They're typing the same prompt over and over, hoping the AI remembers what their character looks like, but ending up with someone who looks like a different person in every image. In the beginning, I used to do the same thing. I would waste hours doing this exact same method. I would generate dozens of images, trying to find ones that looked similar, only to give up in frustration. But after testing every major AI platform and technique, I finally cracked the code. So in the next couple of minutes, I will show you three different methods for creating characters that stay consistent no matter what scene, pose or situation you put them in. Whether you're starting with just a description or maybe a simple reference image, I have you covered. And at the end, I will reveal the secret technique I use to animate these characters and bring them to life in ways that would have been impossible just months ago. Before we dive into the solutions, you need to understand why standard AI fails at character consistency. Most AI models treat each generation as completely independent. They don't have memory of what your character looked like in the previous image. So even if you get a perfect generation, the next one starts from scratch. This is part of the problem and this is why most people make these four critical mistakes. The first mistake is forgetting to repeat key traits in every prompt. The second mistake is just like I mentioned, not understanding that AI models lack memory between generations. The third mistake is using the wrong settings and this is where most people give up because of using a lot of credits maybe or not having the time to play with the settings. But I have done all of that and I will teach you how to do it properly. And the fourth mistake is using poor quality reference images. I cannot tell you how important this part is if you're trying to use an image as a reference for your characters or for your story. So here's the thing, even if you avoid all these mistakes, you're still fighting against the fundamental limitations of how these AI models work. That's why I use OpenArt for all my character work. Unlike standard AI generators, OpenArt creates a persistent character model that maintains appearance across unlimited generations. You create it once and it stays consistent no matter what you do with it. No more tracking seeds, no more repeating descriptions, no more hoping the AI remembers. Let me show you the three methods I use, starting with the easiest one. The first method is perfect if you have a character in mind but no images yet. Here is exactly how to do it. Once you go to OpenArt's homepage, you can find the link in the description below. Click on consistent character, then choose start with description and write a detailed description of your character. And I mean a detailed description. Don't just say a tall woman, instead be specific. Like a female alchemist with olive skin and curly black hair tied in a messy bun and so on. And the more specific you are, the better results you will get. Moving on to the second method, and this is one of my personal favorites, so creating a character from just one reference image. So this is incredibly powerful because most AI tools require multiple images, but open art only needs one. The process is simple. Select, start with one image, upload your reference image, name your character, and then click on create. For best results, use front-facing images with clear facial features and good lighting. The AI needs to see the details to recreate them consistently. The third method is actually the one that gives you maximum control and consistency using multiple reference images. So upload at least four high quality images and I usually upload eight to 10 images, but make sure the images show different angles like front, profile, side view, quarter view, and in various expressions, both close-ups and full body shots and make sure it has various lightning when possible. This method takes more preparation, but gives you the most reliable results. And this is the method that I use when I work with different clients and I also include some Photoshop in there to make it even better. Now let me share some advanced techniques that most people don't know about. Character weight. This controls how strongly your character's features are preserved. I typically set this to 0.8 or 0.9 for maximum consistency. 
Another feature is the preserve key features. So this can be a bit tricky. Turn this on if you want your character to always wear the same outfit. Turn it off if you want to change their clothes while keeping their face consistent. And one of the most underestimated features, this is where open art really shines. It's the pose control. So you can use their 3D pose editor to position your character exactly how you want them. Let me show you how this works. One of the coolest features is creating scenes with multiple consistent characters. You can have your characters interact naturally without worrying they look different. Just select multiple characters from your library and describe how you want them to interact. The AI handles the rest. Here is how to do it. Click on add character up here to add your second character. And now simply describe the image you want to generate under the prompt box. But here's where it gets really exciting. You can animate these characters using open arts integration with Kling AI. Take any static image of your character and transform it into a short video with realistic movement. The key is being specific about camera movement and environmental effects. Instead of just saying camera moves, specify exactly how. Camera slowly orbits around the character as wind gently moves their hair. Now watch this transformation. I have tested every AI platform out there and open art consistently gives me the best results for consistent characters. The link is in the description below and make sure you check them out. And here's what you can do right now. You can pick one character idea that you've been thinking about and try the second method. Use the single image approach, create your characters and see the results for yourself. Then come back and tell me in the comments what characters you created. I read every single comment and I love seeing what you come up with. If this video helped you finally solve the consistent character problem, smash that like button and subscribe for more AI tutorials that actually work. And if you want to see how I use these characters to create entire stories, animated movies, check out this video right here where I show you my complete workflow from concept to finished animation.